Do you have this top 12 most ultra rare Washington quarter dollars to look for your pocket change for more than a millions dollar? The following list is a chart of the most expensive Washington quarter dollars. Most of these are action prices, several private sale prices over one dot millions dollars. The world's most valuable Washington quarter dollars was minted in the United States though there are a few exceptions. The 1965 Washington Quarter is an interesting and significant coin in American numismatics, primarily because it marks a critical transition in the composition of U.S. coinage. This quarter, part of the broader Washington Quarter series that began in 1932, represents the first year in which quarters were made from a copper-nickel-clad composition instead of the traditional 90% silver. This change was a direct response to economic pressures and changing market conditions in the 1960s. Below is a detailed exploration of the 1965 Washington Quarter, covering its history, significance, and value in the numismatic market. The Coinage Act of 1965 was enacted in response to these issues. This legislation removed silver from the quarter and dime entirely and reduced the silver content in the half dollar from 90% to 40%. The 1965 Washington Quarter was the first to be struck in a new copper nickel clad composition. The transition from silver to clad coinage, the transition from silver to clad coinage in 1965 was a watershed moment in U.S. monetary history. The decision to remove silver from circulating coins was not taken lightly, as it represented a significant break from tradition. For centuries, silver had been a primary metal used in coinage, symbolizing wealth and stability. However, the economic realities of the 1960s, including the rising price of silver and the increasing demand for coins, necessitated a change. The Coinage Act of 1965 not only altered the composition of quarters but also banned the minting of silver dollars for five years and removed mint marks from all coins between 1965 and 1967 to discourage hoarding by collectors. The public initially resisted the new clad coins, as they lacked the intrinsic value of their silver predecessors. However, over time, the clad coins became accepted as people grew accustomed to the new composition. Market value, the value of a 1965 Washington quarter in a numismatic market depends on several factors, including its condition, grade, any potential errors, and its historical significance. Because the 1965 quarter was produced in large quantities, over 1.8 billion were struck at the Philadelphia Mint, it is generally common and not particularly valuable in circulated condition. Circulated condition, most 1965 quarters found in circulation today are worth only their face value of 25 cents. Coins that show heavy wear or damage have little to no numismatic value beyond their use as legal tender. Uncirculated slash mint state, an uncirculated 1965 quarter, one that has never been used in commerce and retains its original mint luster, is more valuable. Mint state coins are graded on a scale from MS-60 to MS-70, with higher grades indicating fewer imperfections. As of 2024, an MS-65 1965 quarter might be valued around $10 to $50, while a coin graded MS-67 could fetch $300 or more. The higher the grade, the more valuable the coin. Errors and varieties, as mentioned earlier, error coins, particularly those struck on silver planchets, are rare and highly sought after. A 1965 quarter struck on a silver planchet could be worth several thousand dollars or more, depending on its condition and the weight of the silver content. Conclusion The 1965 Washington Quarter is a significant coin in American numismatics, symbolizing a critical shift in the nation's approach to coinage. While not rare, it is a coin that every serious collector should consider adding to their collection, if only for its historical importance. The change from silver to copper nickel clad coinage was a necessary response to economic pressures, and the 1965 quarter stands as a testament to that period of transition. Whether as a historical artifact or a collectible in mint condition, the 1966 Washington quarter is an intriguing piece in American numismatics, especially when discussing specimens with center of strike issues. These issues, typically involving misaligned dies or off-center strikes, create unique and valuable variations of the coin. To fully appreciate the 1966 Washington Quarter with a center of strike issue, it's important to delve into its historical context, minting process, error types, and the coin's value in today's market. The year 1966 is particularly notable in the history of the Washington Quarter due to the ongoing transition in U.S. coinage. In 1965, the U.S. Mint stopped using silver in the production of dimes, quarters, and half dollars due to rising silver prices and a national coin shortage. 
As a result, quarters minted in 1965 and later were composed of a copper nickel clad, making the 1966 quarter part of the first full year of non-silver quarters. The minting process and error types. The minting process is complex and involves several steps, each with the potential for errors that can lead to the creation of collectible coins. For the 1966 Washington Quarter, the process would have included the following steps. Planchet preparation. A planchet is a blank metal disc that is eventually struck to become a coin. Planchets are cut from large sheets of metal and then prepared for striking. Striking, the prepared planchets are fed into a coin press where they are struck between two dies, the obverse die, for the coin's front, and the reverse die, for the coin's back. The dies imprint the design onto the planchet. Off-center strike, similar to a misaligned die, an off-center strike occurs when the planchet itself is not properly centered between the dies. This can produce coins where the design is shifted towards the edge of the coin, leaving part of the planchet blank. Double strike, sometimes, a coin is struck more than once, either by mistake or because it was not properly ejected after the first strike. A double strike can create a shadow effect on the design, with parts of the image appearing to be duplicated. Rarity and collectability, error coins, by their nature, are rarer than regular coins, as they are typically produced unintentionally and in small numbers. The rarity of a specific error, such as a center of strike issue on a 1966 Washington quarter, depends on several factors, severity of the error, minor errors might be overlooked or dismissed by collectors, while significant errors, such as those that dramatically alter the appearance of the coin, are more likely to be sought after. Condition of the coin, as with all collectible coins, the condition of an error coin greatly affects its value. A 1966 Washington Quarter with a center of strike issue in uncirculated or near uncirculated condition will generally be worth more than one that has been heavily circulated. Market demand, the value of error coins can fluctuate based on collector interest. Certain types of errors may be more popular at certain times, which can drive up prices. The value of a 1966 Washington Quarter with a center of strike issue can vary widely based on the type and severity of the error, as well as the condition of the coin. Some general guidelines for determining the value of such a coin include, common error values, minor misalignments or weak strikes might only add a modest premium to the value of the coin, with prices ranging from $50 to $200 above the face value, depending on the condition. Significant errors, more dramatic errors, such as a severe off-center strike affecting the center of the coin, can fetch much higher prices. These coins might sell for anywhere from $100 to several thousand dollars, particularly if they are in good condition and show a significant portion of the design missing or distorted. Market trends, as with all collectibles, market demand can influence prices. A rare error coin that attracts the interest of multiple collectors might sell for a higher price than expected, especially in a competitive auction setting. The 1967 Washington Quarter is part of the long-running series of Washington Quarters that began in 1932. The Washington Quarter was originally introduced to commemorate the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth. It quickly became a permanent part of American coinage, replacing the Standing Liberty Quarter. Over time, the Washington Quarter has undergone several changes in its design, composition, and production, reflecting broader trends and changes within the U.S. Mint and American society. The Washington Quarter was originally made from 90% silver and 10% copper. However, due to rising silver prices and a nationwide coin shortage in the early 1960s, the U.S. Mint made significant changes to the coin's composition. The Coinage Act of 1965 mandated the elimination of silver from dimes and quarters, leading to the introduction of a new copper nickel clad composition for these coins. Production of the 1967 Washington Quarter The 1967 Washington Quarter was struck during a period of high demand for circulating coinage. The U.S. Mint produced an enormous number of these coins to meet the needs of the economy, as the nation was still recovering from the coin shortage of the early 1960s. In 1967 alone, over 1.5 billion Washington quarters were minted, making it one of the most common dates for the series. Because of the large production numbers and the lack of a mint mark, 1967 Washington quarters are widely available today and are generally not considered rare or valuable in most conditions. However, the sheer number of coins produced also meant that the quality of the strikes could vary, with some coins exhibiting weak details or poorly defined features. Varieties and Errors While the 1967 Washington Quarter is not known for having any particularly notable varieties, there are still a few errors and anomalies that can be found among the coins from this year. 
Some of these include, double die obverse, although not as prominent as in some other years, a double die obverse, DDO, error can sometimes be found on 1967 quarters. This error occurs when the die used to strike the coins is misaligned, resulting in a doubling of some of the design elements on the obverse. Coins with this error can be more valuable to collectors. Clipped planchets. A clipped planchet occurs when the metal blank, planchet, that is used to strike the coin is not properly cut, resulting in a coin with a curved or straight section missing. Clipped planchets can vary in size and shape, and while they are relatively common as errors go, they are still of interest to error coin collectors. Off-center strikes. An off-center strike occurs when the planchet is not properly aligned with the dies during the striking process, resulting in a coin that is not centered correctly. The degree of the off-center strike can vary, and coins that are significantly off-center can be quite valuable. Die cracks and cuts. Die cracks occur when the die used to strike the coins develops a crack, resulting in raised lines or cracks on the surface of the coin. A cud is a more severe form of die crack where a portion of the die breaks away, leaving a raised, blob-like area on the coin. These types of errors can add interest and value to a coin. Value of the 1967 Washington Quarter The value of a 1967 Washington Quarter depends on several factors, including its condition, any errors or varieties it may have, and the overall demand for the coin among collectors. In general, 1967 quarters are very common and can often be found in circulation even today, so their value in circulated condition is usually just face value, 25 cents. Mint State 63, MS 63 A 1967 Washington quarter in MS 63 condition might be valued at around $30 to $50. These coins will have a good strike, full details, and minimal marks or abrasions. Mint State 65, MS 65 A 1967 quarter in MS 65 condition could be worth around $100 to $500. These coins are well struck with strong luster and only minor imperfections. Mint State 67, MS 67, in very high grades, such as MS 67, the value of a 1967 Washington quarter can increase significantly, potentially reaching $1,000 or more. Coins in this condition are nearly flawless, with sharp details and brilliant luster. Coins with recognized errors or varieties, such as the double die obverse, can be worth more, depending on the rarity and demand for that specific error. For example, a 1967 Washington quarter with a well-defined double die obverse could be valued at $1,500 or more, depending on the severity of the doubling and the overall condition of the coin. The 1970 D era Washington quarter value and history, the Washington Quarter, first issued in 1932 to commemorate the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth, has been a mainstay in American coinage. Over the decades, it has seen various designs, metal compositions, and minting errors, which have intrigued collectors. Among these, the 1970 D. Washington Quarter with an error holds a special place due to its unique characteristics and rarity. This essay delves into the history, the specific error found in the 1970 D. Washington Quarter, its value, and the broader context of minting errors in numismatics. Evolution of the coin, over the years, the Washington Quarter underwent several modifications, particularly concerning its metal composition. Initially, quarters were made of 90% silver and 10% copper. However, in 1965, due to rising silver prices, the U.S. Mint switched to a copper-nickel-clad composition, which remains in use today. Minting process and error coins, coins are typically minted through a rigorous process designed to minimize errors. However, mistakes do occur, leading to various types of error coins that are highly valued by collectors. These errors can include off-center strikes, double strikes, and planchet errors, among others. Value of the 1970 D. Era Washington Quarter Several factors influence the value of the 1970 D. Era Quarter, including Rarity The rarity of this specific error significantly boosts its value. Few such error coins were produced and fewer still have been discovered. Condition The coin's condition, as graded by a professional service, greatly affects its value. Coins in higher grades, e.g., mint state, fetch higher prices. Market demand, collector interest and market demand also play crucial roles. Coins with unique stories or errors tend to attract more interest. 
Recent sales and valuations, in recent years, the 1970-D era quarter has seen notable sales at auctions, with prices varying based on the coin's condition and specific characteristics. High-grade examples have sold for $5,000 or more $30,000, reflecting their desirability among collectors. The specific error in the 1970-D quarter. The 1970-D Washington quarter is particularly notable for an error that occurred at the Denver Mint. This error involves quarters struck on a planchet intended for another denomination. The most famous of these is the quarter struck on a planchet intended for a 1941 Canadian quarter. This results in a coin that is slightly smaller and lighter than a standard quarter and often has remnants of the original design visible under the Washington quarter design. Planchet errors, these include wrong planchet errors, like the 1970-D quarter, clipped planchets, and defective planchets. Die errors, errors occurring due to issues with the die, such as double dies, die cracks, and die clashes. Strike errors, errors occurring during the striking process, including off-center strikes, multiple strikes, and brockage errors. Significance to collectors, error coins are significant to collectors for several reasons. Rarity and uniqueness, each error coin is unique, offering a distinct piece of numismatic history. Story and history, error coins often come with intriguing stories about their production and discovery. The 1971 Washington Quarter holds a special place in American numismatic history. This coin, often overlooked by casual collectors, has its unique set of attributes and a fascinating backstory. Notably, the Washington Quarter has been in circulation since 1932, commemorating the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth. The 1971 Quarter, minted in both Philadelphia and Denver, comes with its quirks, especially concerning mint errors, which can significantly affect its value. In 1971, the Washington Quarter was struck in large numbers at both the Philadelphia, No Mint Mark, and Denver, D Mint Mark, mints. This year is notable because it marked the ninth year of the clad composition quarters, which began in 1965 when silver was removed from the coinage. The 1971 quarter is composed of a copper nickel clad, which is 91.67% copper and 8.33% nickel. Errors and varieties, the 1971 Washington Quarter is particularly intriguing to collectors due to the various errors that occurred during its production. Mint errors can significantly enhance the value of a coin, making them highly sought after by numismatists. Common errors, double die obverse, DDO. This error occurs when the coin is struck more than once with a misaligned die, causing a doubling effect on the design. Off-center strikes. Off-center strikes happen when the coin blank, planchet, is not correctly centered during striking. This results in a portion of the design being missing from the coin. The degree of the off-center strike can range from slight to significant, with more extreme off-center errors being more valuable. Clipped planchets. Clipped planchets occur when the blanking process, where coin blanks are punched from metal strips, goes awry, resulting in a coin that has a portion missing. Die cracks. Die cracks happen when the die used to strike the coins develops cracks, leading to raised lines on the coin's surface. These errors can vary in size and location and often add a unique character to each coin. Wrong planchet errors. This rare error occurs when a planchet intended for another denomination or coin is fed into the press. Value of the 1971 Washington Quarter. The value of a 1971 Washington Quarter largely depends on its condition and the presence of any errors. Below is a detailed breakdown of how these factors influence the coin's value. Condition grading. Coins are graded on a scale from poor, P1, to perfect uncirculated, MS, 70. For standard 1,971 quarters without errors, those in average circulated condition are worth their face value of 25 cents. However, in higher grades, such as MS, 65 or better, they can fetch a few dollars. Uncirculated and error coins. Uncirculated or mint state coins, MS, are those that have never been in circulation and thus retain their original mint luster. These coins are more valuable with error prices ranging from $1,000 to $5,000 depending on the grade. The 1971D Washington Quarter holds a special place in American numismatic history. This coin, often overlooked by casual collectors, has its unique set of attributes and a fascinating backstory. 
The 1971 Decorder, minted in both Philadelphia and Denver, comes with its quirks, especially concerning mint errors, which can significantly affect its value. In 1971 D. This year is notable because it marked the ninth year of the clad composition quarters, which began in 1965 when silver was removed from the coinage. The 1971 D quarter is composed of a copper nickel clad, which is 91.67% copper and 8.33% nickel. The value of a 1971 D Washington quarter largely depends on its condition and the presence of any errors. Below is a detailed breakdown of how these factors influence the coin's value. Value of the 197 D Washington quarter, condition grading. Coins are graded on a scale from poor, P1, to perfect uncirculated, MS, 70. For standard 1971 D quarters without errors, those in average circulated condition are worth their face value of 25 cents. However, in higher grades, such as MS-65 or better, they can fetch a few dollars. Uncirculated and error coins. Uncirculated or mint state coins, MS, are those that have never been in circulation and thus retain their original mint luster. These coins are more valuable with error prices ranging from $1,000 to $7,500 depending on the grade. Errors and varieties, the 1971 D. Washington Quarter is particularly intriguing to collectors due to the various errors that occurred during its production. Mint errors can significantly enhance the value of a coin, making them highly sought after by numismatists. Common errors, double die obverse, DDO. This error occurs when the coin is struck more than once with a misaligned die, causing a doubling effect on the design. In the case of the 1971 D quarter, doubling may be evident on Washington's profile, the date, or the inscriptions. Off-center strikes. Off-center strikes happen when the coin blank, planchet, is not correctly centered during striking. This results in a portion of the design being missing from the coin. The degree of the off-center strike can range from slight to significant, with more extreme off-center errors being more valuable. Clipped planchets. Clipped planchets occur when the blanking process, where coin blanks are punched from metal strips, goes awry, resulting in a coin that has a portion missing. The 1972-era Washington Quarter, Value and History However, some 1972 quarters are notable for errors that make them valuable to collectors. This essay explores the history of the Washington Quarter, the specific characteristics and types of errors found in the 1972 issue, their value, and the broader implications for coin collectors. The composition of the quarter also changed in 1965 from 90% silver to a copper nickel clad due to rising silver prices. The 1972 Washington Quarter, by 1972, the Washington Quarter was well established in American currency. However, this year saw several minting errors, making some coins from this year particularly valuable to collectors. Value of the 1972 Era Quarter The value of a 1972 Era Quarter depends on several factors, including the type and severity of the error, the coin's condition, and market demand that the 1972 D. Washington Quarter with any error while those with more dramatic misalignments can be valued at several hundred dollars for more thousand dollars particularly those with readable dates, are the most valuable. Factors influencing value. Several factors influence the value of 1972 error quarters. Rarity, naturally, rarer errors are more valuable. Errors like the double die obverse are particularly rare. Condition, coins in mint state condition, MS, or uncirculated condition are more valuable than those with wear and tear. Demand, collector interest significantly influences prices. High demand for specific error types can drive up values. Authentication, certified coins from reputable grading services, such as PCGS or NGC, are generally more trusted and can command higher prices. Broader implications for coin collectors, the existence of error coins like the 1972 Washington Quarter highlights several broader aspects of numismatics. Error coins can be a good investment, with certain errors appreciating in value over time. Collectors must stay informed about market trends and rarity. Conclusion, the 1972-era Washington Quarter is a fascinating topic for numismatists. These errors, whether they be double die obverse, off-center strikes, clipped planchets, or die cracks and cuds, provide a glimpse into the complexities of coin production and the intriguing quirks that can arise. Their values vary widely, 
influenced by rarity, condition, demand, and authentication. For collectors, these coins are more than just currency, they are pieces of history, objects of beauty, and potentially profitable investments. Understanding and appreciating these errors enriches the hobby of coin collecting, making it a continually exciting and rewarding pursuit. The 1980p Washington Quarter is a notable example from this series, minted during an era of transition and economic change. This comprehensive examination will cover the historical context, design, production, varieties, errors, and current market value of the 1980p Washington Quarter. The coin's composition in 1980 was a copper-nickel clad, consisting of an inner core of pure copper and an outer layer of 75% copper and 25% nickel. This composition had been in use since 1965 when the mint transitioned from 90% silver quarters to the more cost-effective copper-nickel clad. Production and Mint Marks In 1980, the U.S. Mint produced Washington Quarters at three facilities, Philadelphia, P, Denver, D, and San Francisco, S. The Philadelphia Mint, designated by the P to Mint Mark, played a crucial role in meeting the nation's coinage needs. Prior to 1980, the Philadelphia Mint did not use a Mint Mark on Quarters, making the 1980p Quarter the first in its series to feature the P Mint Mark. Varieties and errors, while the 1980p Washington Quarter is relatively common, there are some notable varieties and errors that collectors seek, double die obverse, DDO some 1980p quarters exhibit doubling on the obverse side, particularly on the inscriptions and Washington's profile. These double die errors can significantly increase the coin's value, depending on the severity and visibility of the doubling. Off-center strikes, occasionally, quarters are struck off-center, resulting in a misaligned design. These off-center errors are collectible and can range in value based on the degree of misalignment. Clipped planchets. A clipped planchet error occurs when a portion of the coin's edge is missing due to a malfunction during the minting process. Clipped planchet errors are relatively rare and can add value to the coin. Broad strikes. Broad struck quarters are struck without the retaining collar, causing the coin to spread out and appear larger than usual. These errors are also of interest to collectors. Collectability and market value, the value of a 1980p Washington quarter varies based on its condition, rarity, and any unique characteristics such as errors or varieties. In general, circulated 1980p quarters hold nominal value slightly above their face value, typically ranging from 25 cents error coins, as mentioned earlier, error coins such as double die obverse, off-center strikes, clipped planchets, and broad strikes can significantly enhance the value of a 1980p quarter. Depending on the error's rarity and prominence, these coins can range in value from a few dollars to several hundred to thousand dollars or more. The 1982 Washington Quarter holds a special place in the annals of American numismatics. Not only does it represent a piece of everyday commerce, but it also carries a story of design, production quirks, and market dynamics. This comprehensive look into the 1982 Washington Quarter will delve into its historical context, design specifics, production details, and its value in today's numismatic market. Historical context, the Washington Quarter was first introduced in 1932 to commemorate the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth. Designed by John Flanagan, this coin replaced the Standing Liberty Quarter and has since become a staple of American coinage. The 1982 Washington Quarter, like others in the series, features Flanagan design, which showcases a left-facing bust of George Washington on the obverse and an eagle with outstretched wings on the reverse. Production details In 1982, the United States Mint faced a significant production challenge due to a change in coinage legislation and economic conditions. This year marked the suspension of the production of proof sets and mint sets, which traditionally contained coins of higher quality and were sold to collectors. This decision had a notable impact on the numismatic market, particularly for the 1982 quarters. Mint marks and production facilities, the 1982 Washington quarters were produced at three primary minting facilities, Philadelphia, No Mint Mark, Denver, D, and San Francisco, S. However, the San Francisco Mint only produced proof coins, and since proof sets were not produced in 1982, there are no S minted quarters from that year in circulation. Mintage numbers, the mintage numbers for the 1982 quarters are as follows, Philadelphia, no mint mark approximately 500 million. Denver, D approximately 520 million. Collectability and market value, the market value of the 1982 Washington quarter varies significantly based on its condition and whether it possesses any unique characteristics. 
Due to the lack of proof and mint sets in 1982, finding high-grade examples of this coin can be challenging, which adds to its appeal among collectors. Circulated coins, circulated 1982 quarters are generally common and readily available. Their value typically ranges from face value to a few dollars, depending on their condition. Coins with significant wear usually hold no premium over face value, while those in better condition can be worth slightly more to collectors seeking to complete their collections. Uncirculated coins, uncirculated or mint state, MS, 1982 quarters are more sought after. Coins in lower mint state grades, MS 60, MS 63, might fetch a few dollars each. However, coins graded MS 64 and above can command higher prices, often ranging from $10 to $50, depending on the specific grade and the market demand at the time. High grade specimens, high grade specimens, MS 65 and above, are especially desirable. Coins in MS 65 can be worth around $50 to $100, while those in MS 66 can fetch between $100 and $300. Exceptional examples in MS 67 or higher are rare and can command prices well over $500, with some even reaching into the thousands, particularly if they are graded by reputable grading services such as the Professional Coin Grading Service, PCGS, or the Numismatic Guarantee Corporation, NGC. Errors and Varieties Error coins and varieties from 1982 can also be highly valuable. Some known errors include off-center strikes, double dies, and coins with die cracks. These errors can range in value from a few dollars to several hundred to thousand dollars, depending on the type and severity of the error. Factors influencing value, several factors influence the value of a 1982 Washington quarter, condition, as with all coins, the condition is a primary determinant of value. Coins with minimal wear, clear details, and no damage are more valuable. Mint Mark, coins from the Denver Mint, D, and Philadelphia Mint, no Mint Mark, have different mintage numbers, affecting their availability in value. Grading, professional grading by services such as PCGS or NGC can significantly enhance a coin's value, providing assurance of its condition and authenticity. Errors and Varieties, quarters with unique errors or varieties are often more valuable to collectors seeking these rarities. Market demand, the numismatic market can fluctuate based on collector interest, economic conditions, and trends within the hobby. In the world of numismatics, or coin collecting, certain coins become particularly valuable and intriguing due to errors in their production. One such coin is the 1983 Washington Quarter, notable for a significant minting error. This guide will delve into the history, details, and value of the 1983 P. Error Washington Quarter, exploring what makes this coin unique and sought after by collectors. Causes of the minting error Minting errors can occur for various reasons, ranging from mechanical malfunctions to human oversight. The missing P. Mint mark on the 1983 quarter is believed to be due to a die error. The die is the stamp used to strike the coin, and if the die used did not have the P mark, the resulting coins would be missing this crucial identifier. In addition to the missing mint mark, collectors also look for the overall condition of the coin. As with all coins, those in better condition, showing little wear and maintaining their original luster, are more valuable. Grading services like the Professional Coin Grading Service, PCGS, or the Numismatic Guarantee Corporation, NGC, can provide an official grade, which significantly influences the coin's market value. Value of the 1983 P. Error Quarter The value of the 1983 P. Error Quarter varies depending on its condition. Coins in circulated condition, showing wear from use, are less valuable than those in uncirculated condition, showing no wear and retaining their original mint state. Prices can range from a few dollars for lower-grade examples to several hundred dollars for high-grade, uncirculated examples. Circulated Condition In general, a 1983 P. Error Quarter in circulated condition may be valued between $30 and $100. The specific value depends on the degree of wear and the coins I appeal. Uncirculated Condition Uncirculated examples, especially those graded MS-65, Mint State 65, or higher, can command prices from $200 to $500 or more. These coins are rare due to the overall scarcity of high-grade 1983 quarters. Proof and Special Mint Sets While the 1983 P. Error Quarter was not included in proof sets, which are specially made for collectors and display high quality, some may have been included in Special Mint Sets. These sets can add to the coin's provenance and value. 
Market demand, the market demand for era coins, including the 1983 P era quarter, is driven by several factors. First, the rarity of the era plays a significant role. The missing mint mark on the 1983 quarter is a recognized and relatively scarce error, which adds to its desirability. Additionally, the condition of the coin and its grade from a recognized grading service further influence demand and value. Collectors often seek error coins to complete their sets or as unique pieces within their collections. The 1983 P error quarter is particularly appealing because it is part of the widely collected Washington Quarter series, and it represents a distinct variation within that series. Conclusion, the 1983 P. Error Washington Quarter is a fascinating piece of numismatic history, offering a glimpse into the intricacies and occasional mishaps of coin production. Its value, driven by rarity, condition, and market demand, makes it a sought-after item for collectors. Whether you are a seasoned numismatist or a new enthusiast, the 1983 P. Error Quarter is a noteworthy addition to any collection, representing both a specific moment in minting history and the broader appeal of error coins in the numismatic world. The Washington Quarter, minted since 1932, has become a significant part of American numismatics. Among the various coins in this series, error coins attract particular interest due to their rarity and the intriguing stories behind their creation. One such coin is the 1984 P. Error Washington Quarter. This essay explores the history, varieties, and value of the 1984 P. Error Quarter, delving into the broader context of error coins and their place in the numismatic world. Error coins in numismatics, error coins are minting anomalies that occur during the production of coins. These errors can range from minor imperfections to significant deviations from the standard design. Collectors often seek error coins due to their uniqueness and the challenge they present in numismatic studies. Errors can be categorized into several types, including, planchet errors, mistakes involving the blank coin before it is struck, such as wrong metal composition or shape. Die errors, flaws in the die used to strike the coin, leading to issues like double dies or die cracks. Striking errors, problems during the actual striking process, resulting in off-center strikes, multiple strikes, or incomplete strikes. The 1984 P. Washington Quarter The 1984 P. Washington Quarter is a coin that stands out due to its notable error varieties. The P. Mint mark denotes that the coin was produced at the Philadelphia Mint, which, along with the Denver Mint, is responsible for producing the majority of U.S. circulating coins. Notable Error Varieties Description the most famous error in the 1984 P. Washington Quarter is the double die obverse. This error occurs when the coin's design is struck twice but slightly misaligned, creating a doubling effect. The doubling is most visible in the inscriptions, such as, Liberty, In God We Trust, and the date, 1984. Cause, doubling errors like this are usually caused by a misalignment between the die and the planchet during the striking process. In this case, the doubling occurred due to a misalignment in the die itself. Clipped planchet, description, another notable error for the 1984 P quarter is the clipped planchet, where a portion of the coin is missing. This usually appears as a curved or straight edge cut from the coin. Cause, clipped planchet errors occur when the blank planchet sheet is improperly punched, leading to incomplete planchets. Off-center strikes, off-center strikes are another type of error seen in the 1984 P quarters. These errors occur when the coin is not correctly aligned with the die during striking, resulting in a portion of the design being missing or incomplete. Collecting and valuing error coins, error coins like the 1984 P. Washington Quarter are highly sought after by collectors due to their rarity and the uniqueness of each error. Several factors influence the value of error coins, including, rarity, the less common an error, the more valuable it tends to be. Some errors may only occur on a handful of coins, making them highly coveted. Condition, as with all coins, the condition, or grade, significantly impacts value. Uncirculated coins with errors are generally worth more than circulated examples. Type of error, the nature and severity of the error also play a crucial role. More dramatic and noticeable errors usually command higher prices. Market demand, the value of error coins can fluctuate based on collector interest and market trends. Certain errors may become more desirable over time, increasing their value. Authentication and grading. Given the potential value of error coins, authentication and grading are essential steps for serious collectors. 
Professional grading services like the Professional Coin Grading Service, PCGS, and the Numismatic Guarantee Corporation, NGC, offer certification for error coins. These organizations assess the coin's authenticity, determine its grade, and provide detailed information about the specific error, offering collectors assurance regarding the coin's value and provenance. The 1985 P. Washington Quarter is a coin that represents an important piece of modern U.S. numismatic history. This article explores the coin's origins, design, mintage, varieties, errors, and value. Mintage and Distribution In 1985, the Philadelphia Mint produced 775,818,962 quarters. This high mintage number is typical for circulation coins, reflecting their widespread use in everyday transactions. Despite the large mintage, the coin's value can vary significantly based on its condition, errors, and any unique varieties. Varieties and errors, while the 1985 P quarter is not known for having major varieties, there are a few errors and minor varieties that can impact its value, off-center strikes. These occur when the coin is not properly aligned during the striking process, resulting in a portion of the design being missing. The degree of off-centering can significantly affect the coin's value. Double die. This error happens when the coin is struck more than once with a slight variation in alignment. Double dies can be found on either the obverse or reverse, and their rarity can make them valuable to collectors. Clipped planchets occur when the metal strip from which the coin blanks are punched has an irregular edge, causing a portion of the coin to be missing. Die cracks and cuds. These are raised lines or blobs on the coin resulting from cracks in the die used to strike the coin. These imperfections can add to the coin's uniqueness and value. Grading and condition, the value of a 1985 P. Washington quarter largely depends on its condition, which is assessed through a grading system. The Sheldon scale, ranging from 1 to 70, is commonly used by numismatists. Poor to good, 1 to 10 coins in this range are heavily worn and have little collectible value. Very good to fine, 11 to 40 these coins show moderate to significant wear, with some details still visible. Very fine to extremely fine, 41 to 58 these coins have light to moderate wear and retain much of their original detail. About uncirculated, 59 to 62 coins exhibit minimal wear, mostly on the highest points of the design. Mint state, 63 to 70 these coins show no signs of wear and can have varying degrees of luster and strike quality. Market value. The market value of the 1985 P. Washington Quarter can range from its face value of 25 cents to several dollars, depending on its condition and any errors or varieties present. Here are some general guidelines. Error coins. Depending on the type and rarity of the error, these coins can be worth anywhere from a few dollars to hundreds of thousands of dollars. For example, an off-center strike or double die in mint state condition could fetch a premium price. Collectors often seek out such errors, making them highly desirable in the numismatic market. The Washington Quarter is one of the most recognizable coins in the United States. Minted since 1932, it commemorates the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth. While millions of these coins have been produced over the years, certain variations, including error coins, have piqued the interest of collectors. One such example is the 1986 P. Error Washington Quarter. This guide will delve into the value, history, and significance of the 1986 P. Error Quarter, exploring what makes it unique among numismatic enthusiasts. Types of errors, coin errors can occur at various stages of the minting process, resulting in unique and collectible pieces. The 1986 P. Washington Quarter has several known error types, each contributing to its rarity and value, off-center strike. This occurs when the coin is not properly aligned with the dies, resulting in a partial design. The more off-center the strike, the more valuable the coin. Double die. A double die error happens when the coin's design is struck more than once, creating a doubling effect. This can appear on the obverse, reverse, or both. Clipped planchet. This error occurs when a portion of the coin's blank, planchet, is missing, leading to an incomplete edge. Broad strike. A broad strike error happens when the collar, which helps form the coin's edge, malfunctions, allowing the metal to spread out more than usual. Wrong planchet, this rare error occurs when a quarter is struck on a planchet meant for a different denomination, such as a dime or penny. Notable 1986 P. Error Quarters, one of the most famous 1986 P. Error Quarters is the off-center strike quarter. These coins, with their distinctive misaligned designs, are highly sought after by collectors. Another notable error is the double die quarter, 
where the doubling effect can be seen on various parts of the coin, including the date and inscriptions. Value of 1986 P error quarters, the value of a 1986 P error quarter depends on the type and severity of the error, as well as the coin's condition. Below is a general guideline for the value of these error coins, factors affecting value, several factors influence the value of 1986 P error quarters, rarity, the rarer the error, the higher the value. Some errors are unique or occur in very small quantities, making them highly desirable. Condition, coins in better condition, with fewer scratches and wear, command higher prices. The Sheldon scale, ranging from 1, poor, to 70, perfect, is used to grade coins. Error type, certain error types are more popular and sought after, such as double dies and wrong planchet errors. Market demand, the numismatic market fluctuates based on collector interest. High demand can drive up prices for certain errors.